Now, Phil Davis fighting in front of the world at the highest level. Well, Francis Carmont not only went to the UFC, he won six straight when he got there. He has played and performed on the big stage before. Yeah, and not a lot of physical differences between these two fighters, very evenly matched. Presented by Miller Lite, Bellator MMA now moves to the four-man one-night light heavyweight tournament championship set for three five-minute rounds is brought to you by Blackheart premium spice rum seduction in a bottle the official rum of Bellator MMA and now first introducing the blue corner at six foot two weighing in 205.8 pounds successful tonight in his Bellator debut as a professional he now stands at 14 and three he fights out of San Diego California introducing Phil Mr. Wonderful Davis And across the cage is adversary fighting out of the red corner at six foot three. He weighed in 205 pounds even as a professional now. 24 wins with 10 defeats from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Introducing Francis Limitless Parmon. And the referee in charge of the contest is Jason Herzog. There is a reason you have an alternate fight. No final questions for me, Red. Touch gloves, not ready to fight. What do you talk about with the tournament? Variables. Who gets hurt? Who has energy? Who drops out? Who goes in? That's what we're seeing in the finals. Variables. On the line, a light heavyweight title fight against the winner of the main event tonight, Tito Ortiz and Liam McGeary. Phil Davis buddy, never ready? got fight. that title shot in the UFC. He can earn it in the Bellator cage right now. The fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite, the original Pilsner. Cheers. It's Miller time. To the last, I will grapple with the great wrestler, great submission fighter in there. It's a matter of who gets position, who has the right timing, who seizes the opportunity. Both guys very dangerous on the ground. Is there a difference in wrestling styles between someone who is in Europe and learned and trained in Europe and an All-American? Yeah, yeah, very true. I mean, the, the typical, typical quote-unquote American wrestler, a blast style of takedown. You look guys like Brandon Slay, Jordan Burroughs, guys who've been successful on the international scene. They have a very physically dynamic style. Guys in Europe tend to scramble a little bit more. Also remember, Carmont, Western Europe, not known for great wrestling. Great wrestlers generally come out of Eastern Europe. He has to work on his takedown tonight, for sure, and yeah. his defense. This will be reported, and I'm sure Twitter's going crazy as we speak, but this was a very late decision. King Mo was cleared earlier, immediately after his fight. This was a late decision, so then the decision to check on Linton Vassell to see if he could go, that came very late. Right. He might not have had a lot of warm-up time. I always say you hope for the best, you prepare for the worst. Come on, knew this could happen. Bill Davis's fight about two and a half hours ago. Carmont's was over five hours ago. Is there any difference there? Oh, big time. That's when the damage, any fatigue, really starts setting in after about a half hour, an hour. That's when it really gets to you. I would say advantage Phil Davis. Bill Davis was the favorite going into this tournament. You can only imagine now. in the roller coaster of emotion for Phil Davis when his Bellator debut was as dominant, as impressive as it was if things don't go his way here. Yeah, that's it. Oh my God, it's, it's over! Left. Jason Dunn's on giving the extra time, but it was never in doubt. Wow! The blue chip free agent Phil Davis is dominant. Monstrous impact in his debut, and he is next in line for a shot. He'll finally get that shot at the light heavyweight world title. Phil Davis, a dominant, dominant performance on the ground in the first round, and a dominant performance on the feet in the second round. This guy is dangerous everywhere. We check out the Black Card Premium Spice Rum Replay, the bold 93 proof rum that's edgy to the core, which Phil Davis was tonight twice. Look at the combo, beautiful left hand right on the chin. 
Carmaz hand up trying to defend himself, but he is out. You see when the right hand came down, it's glued to the head on the ground. That was that delay we saw with Jason Herzog. Looks like he's intelligently defending the hand drops. That's when Jason jumps in. Good stoppage, Phil Davis all over Carmaz. Look at that leaping left hand. A little homage to the guys like Roy Jones Jr. That leaping left right on the chin. Forget being a grappler tonight. Phil Davis, a complete mixed martial artist. Beautiful shot. The book on Phil Davis is that he's very hard to hit. He also hits very hard. Great combination to have. Live from Madison Square Garden, Chael Sonnen. New York is happy to have Chael Sonnen, and I will put an end to Vanderlei. And Vanderlei Silva will settle their epic grudge match. I'm gonna destroy Chael Sonnen. And it's USA versus Russia, when MMA's greatest ever, Fedor Emelianenko, faces hard-hitting Matt Mitrione. Fedor's gonna get knocked out. Plus, Michael Chandler and Douglas Lima defend their world titles. Bellator NYC, presented by Miller Lite, live Saturday, June 24th from Madison Square Garden, only on pay-per-view. Wins 14 and 15 for Phil Davis. And in extraordinarily impressive fashion, he has made himself the number one contender for the Bellator light heavyweight world title. Keep in mind, only six of his 16 fights had been stoppages. Six of his 13 wins. He records two in the first round in the tournament here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage referee, Jason Herzog, steps in, waves off the contest. Official time, two minutes, 15 seconds into round number one. The winner by knockout, and now the light heavyweight tournament champion, Phil, Mr. Wonderful David. Phil, my first question for you, a submission in the opening round, a knockout in the finals, you couldn't have scripted it any better, man. I, man, I don't even know what just happened, man. I, I just want to thank God. You knocked him out. <laughs> Is that what happened? He might have knocked me out, I forgot. Um, but yeah, man, I just want to thank God. I had the best training camp. I got the best coaches. I got the, the best teammates, the best people around me, man. Uh, and, I, 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 and you know what? I might be telling on myself, but uh, man, I might have did something wrong, okay? I don't know what the California State Athletic Commission tests for. I have so many people praying for me right now. Everybody at home, thank you. I love you guys. Man, my prayer count is off the charts. All right, you understand what I'm saying? It's off the charts. So uh, this is for you guys. My question to you, a tournament champion belt, but I know the belt you want. Yeah. It's on the line tonight. What do you think of that fight? The champ, Liam McGeary versus Tito Ortiz. You're on the spot. What's your pick? You know what? Uh, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather fight, I want to fight Liam McGeary. He's young, he's fresh, he's long. I want to be the guy to take him out. But if that guy happens to be Tito Ortiz, the legend, I'm fine with that. Well, right now you get to savor a great tournament victory. Let's give it up for Phil Davis, ladies and gentlemen.